Ever wonder what happened to those once beloved desserts that disappeared off the radar? We've compiled the ultimate list of 20 iconic desserts from the 60s, 70s, and 80s that shaped our sweetest childhood memories. However, what led these favorite treats to vanish from our tables? Let's find out. Beneath the light and airy embrace of chiffon cake lies a tale of culinary rebellion, where vegetable oil daringly took the place of butter, forever changing the dessert landscape. Its popularity soared post-World War II as ingredients became more readily accessible and the American public craved new, lighter dessert options. However, as culinary trends shifted towards more decadent and visually striking desserts, chiffon cake began to fade from the spotlight. Its simplicity, once a virtue, made it less appealing in an era where complex flavors and elaborate presentation became paramount. Additionally, the health-conscious movement raised concerns about the refined flour and sugar content, pushing it further out of favor despite its lighter texture compared to butter-heavy cakes. The colorful and jiggly jello salad once stood as a centerpiece of festivity, celebrated for its versatility and the playful splash it brought to gatherings. This dessert, or side dish, was celebrated for its versatility and festive appearance making it a staple at gatherings. Its decline can be attributed to changing dietary preferences and an increased awareness of artificial ingredients found in many Jell-O products. The rise of whole food and natural eating trends made the gelatin-based salad, often loaded with canned fruits or vegetables and sometimes even mayonnaise or cheese, seem outdated and unappetizing. Furthermore, as culinary tastes evolved, the texture and concept of Jell-O salad became less appealing, replaced by fresher, more natural dessert options that reflected contemporary health and wellness trends. Fondue, a beacon of the 70s dining scene, created memorable moments around pots of melted cheese and chocolate, fostering a unique communal eating experience. Its decline in popularity can be traced back to the end of the fondue party trend, as people sought quicker, less interactive dining experiences due to changing lifestyles. The rise of fast food and ready-to-eat meals emphasized convenience over the communal, leisurely dining experiences fondue provided. Additionally, the health concerns associated with the high-calorie content of cheese and chocolate fondues contributed to its waning popularity as dietary trends shifted towards lower fat and lower sugar options. Despite this, fondue retains a nostalgic charm and has potential for resurgence with healthier ingredients and innovative dining concepts. Vianetta, with its elegant layers, once defined the pinnacle of frozen desserts, offering a sophisticated alternative to the everyday ice cream treat. The introduction of an array of gourmet frozen desserts and artisanal ice cream options overshadowed Vianetta's once unique appeal. Additionally, changes in consumer preferences towards customizable and varied dessert options made Vianetta, which offers limited flavors and variations, less attractive. Its decline also reflects broader shifts in the dessert market where consumers increasingly seek out desserts that offer both visual appeal and a complex array of flavors, something Vianetta's simple elegance no longer fulfilled for many. The pineapple upside-down cake, a marvel of sweetness and texture, charmed its way into hearts with its caramelized pineapple topping and moist cake base. However, as dessert trends moved towards more sophisticated and less sugary options, this cake's presence dwindled. The move away from canned fruit and processed ingredients, which are central to the classic version of this cake, in favor of fresh, less processed alternatives, also contributed to its decline. Moreover, the advent of foodie culture, which prioritizes novel and Instagram-worthy desserts, left the more traditional and less visually dynamic pineapple upside-down cake behind. Despite this, it remains a cherished reminder of past baking traditions, holding potential for revival with updated, healthier ingredients. Ambrosia salad, once a staple of festive gatherings, 
has seen its popularity wane due to its heavy reliance on canned fruits and marshmallows, clashing with modern dietary preferences that favor fresh, unprocessed ingredients. The advent of more sophisticated desserts and salads, which offer complex flavors and textures without excessive sweetness, also contributed to its decline. Additionally, the visual appeal of ambrosia salad, with its mix of colorful fruits and marshmallows, no longer captivates in an era where aesthetics in food are increasingly valued but demand a more refined presentation. Despite this, Ambrosia Salad's nostalgic value keeps it in the memories of those who grew up with it, suggesting a possible pathway for reinvention that aligns with contemporary tastes and health considerations. German chocolate cake, despite its rich flavor and beloved status, has faced competition from newer, more fashionable desserts that cater to evolving tastes and dietary restrictions. The cake's traditional recipe, which includes a dense, sweet coconut pecan frosting, may not align with current trends toward lighter, less sugary desserts. Additionally, the misconception about its origin, it's American, not German, and the increasing preference for global flavors have also contributed to its reduced prominence in the dessert landscape. Nonetheless, German chocolate cake's decline has not erased its legacy. It remains a nostalgic favorite for many, underscoring the potential for adaptation to today's more health-conscious and flavor-diverse dessert market. Grasshopper pie, minty and bright, offered a refreshing departure from traditional desserts, captivating with its vibrant green hue and creamy texture. Its decline can largely be attributed to changing dessert trends that favor less artificially colored and flavored options. The rise of culinary sophistication has seen a shift towards desserts that highlight natural ingredients and artisanal craftsmanship, leaving behind those with a reliance on food coloring and pre-made mixes. Furthermore, the pie's association with retro dining trends makes it less appealing in a market that constantly seeks the next innovative dessert. Despite this, Grasshopper Pie's unique flavor profile and potential for a more natural ingredient-based revival could reintroduce it to a new audience looking for a blend of nostalgia and modernity. Tunnel of Fudge Cake stood out for its innovative use of a fudgy filling within a cake, capturing the hearts of many during the Pillsbury Bake Off in 1966. Its decline in popularity can be traced to the evolution of dessert preferences towards lighter, less rich options. Additionally, the complexity of achieving the perfect gooey center without undercooking the rest of the cake presents a challenge for the average home baker, contributing to its waning presence in modern kitchens. As consumers have grown more health conscious, the dense, calorie-laden nature of the cake further diminishes its appeal. However, the enduring love for chocolate and nostalgia for classic desserts offers an opportunity for Tunnel of Fudge Cake to be reinvented with healthier ingredients and simplified preparation techniques. Bananas Foster, a flamboyant dessert known for its dramatic tableside preparation, has seen a decline due to the decrease in formal dining experiences and the rise of DIY dining trends. The spectacle of flambéing, while impressive, requires a level of skill and safety precautions that may deter home cooks. Additionally, the dessert's reliance on rich ingredients like butter, sugar, and rum contrasts with the growing preference for lighter, fruit-based desserts. The shift towards quick and easy recipes for home entertainment has also contributed to its reduced popularity. Nonetheless, Bananas Foster remains a beloved classic for special occasions, suggesting that with innovative adaptations, it could regain popularity among those seeking to recreate restaurant-quality experiences at home. Black Forest Cake, celebrated for its layers of chocolate cake, cherries, and whipped cream, has experienced a decline as preferences have moved towards simpler, more minimalist desserts. The cake's elaborate assembly and rich flavor profile may not appeal to a health-conscious audience that prefers desserts with less sugar and lighter ingredients. Furthermore, the global palate has become more adventurous, seeking out new flavors and dessert concepts beyond the traditional. Despite this, 
the cake's deep-rooted cultural significance and potential for ingredient innovation, such as using less sugar or incorporating alternative flours, offer opportunities for a modern resurgence, particularly among those who appreciate the art of baking. Baked Alaska, once the pinnacle of dining elegance with its combination of cake, ice cream, and meringue, has faded in popularity due to its perceived complexity and the rise of simpler, more accessible desserts. The challenge of perfectly executing the meringue and achieving the flambe effect can be daunting for home bakers, contributing to its decline. Additionally, in a culinary landscape that values quick and straightforward recipes, Baked Alaska's time-consuming preparation makes it less appealing for everyday dessert choices. However, its dramatic presentation and the contrast of hot and cold elements retain a potential allure, suggesting that deconstructed or simplified versions could bring it back into favor for special occasions. Harvey Wallbanger Cake, inspired by the cocktail, infused the dessert scene with a unique blend of orange, vodka, and galliano, offering a spirited, tangy treat. Its decline can be attributed to changing tastes and the proliferation of desserts that incorporate a wider range of flavors and ingredients. The novelty of alcohol-infused cakes has expanded, making the Harvey Wallbanger cake less distinctive among desserts that feature more complex or exotic alcohol bases. Additionally, the shift towards more natural and health-conscious dessert options has led to a decreased interest in cakes heavily reliant on processed ingredients. Despite this, the cake's distinctive flavors and potential for reinterpretation with higher quality, less processed ingredients could revitalize its appeal in the context of modern culinary trends. Originally created for Queen Victoria's Jubilee, Cherry's Jubilee brings a royal touch to the table, making its historical significance part of its charm. It can easily be adapted into a non-alcoholic version for family-friendly events, ensuring its universal appeal. Serving it over ice cream is classic, but layering it in parfaits or as a crepe filling adds a creative twist. The flambe technique not only captivates diners with its dramatic presentation, but also enhances the dessert's rich flavors. While traditional recipes feature cherries, variations using different fruits or liquors invite customization. Cherries, Jubilee's blend of history, versatility, and theatrical presentation keeps it a beloved classic, offering a special experience for today's diners seeking both tradition and innovation. Crepe Suzette, featuring thin pancakes and a showy orange sauce, added a touch of French elegance to the table, impressing with its dramatic flambe performance. However, its decline in popularity can be attributed to the modern diner's preference for quicker, less intricate desserts. The preparation of crepe Suzette, particularly the flambe technique, while theatrical, may seem intimidating to the home cook and overly elaborate for casual dining. Additionally, the shift towards lighter, health-conscious dessert options has overshadowed richer, buttery desserts. Despite this, Crepe Suzette holds potential for resurgence with adaptations that simplify the recipe without compromising its essence, catering to the contemporary interest in both gourmet home cooking and healthier, refined sweets. Rum Baba, soaked in rum and often garnished with whipped cream or fruit, has seen a decline as dessert preferences have evolved towards more subtle, less alcohol-heavy options. The saturated boozy dessert's richness and the complexity of its preparation, requiring yeast-leavened cake and precise soaking, pose challenges for the modern baker, looking for quick and straightforward recipes. Additionally, the growing trend towards health-conscious eating has made the calorie-dense rum baba less appealing. However, this dessert's rich history and the opportunity for modern reinterpretation with a variety of liquors or non-alcoholic versions could spark renewed interest, particularly among those exploring traditional desserts with a contemporary twist. Lady Baltimore Cake, with its origins in Southern baking traditions, faces obscurity as modern tastes lean towards less sugary, more globally influenced desserts. 
The cake's distinctive fruit and nut filling, once a mark of indulgence, contrasts with current trends favoring minimalism and natural ingredients. The labor-intensive preparation and perceived heaviness of traditional cakes like Lady Baltimore have contributed to their decline in favor of lighter, simpler desserts. However, the cultural heritage and the potential for ingredient innovation in Lady Baltimore cake present an opportunity for revival among enthusiasts of American baking history and those seeking a connection to culinary heritage through updated, healthier versions. Dacquoise, distinguished by its layers of nut meringue and buttercream, has become a lesser-known dessert amid the rise of simpler, more casual sweets. The meticulous preparation required to achieve its delicate texture and the perceived richness of its fillings may deter those seeking quicker, lighter dessert options. Furthermore, the increased interest in gluten-free and health-conscious eating challenges the traditional decoys, which is rich in sugars and fats. Yet its inherent elegance and the possibility of incorporating alternative, healthier ingredients suggest that dacquoise could be rediscovered and appreciated by a new generation interested in sophisticated yet accessible baking projects. Charlotte Russe, with its rich cream and lady fingers, brings back the luxury of old-time parties, showing off classic American elegance. It has waned in popularity due to evolving dessert trends favoring more straightforward, less time-consuming recipes. The assembly of Charlotte Russe, requiring meticulous layering and stabilization of the cream, can seem daunting compared to the ease of preparing more contemporary desserts. Additionally, the shift towards lighter, fruit-forward, and less processed desserts has made the traditionally rich Charlotte Russe less appealing. However, its historical significance and potential for modern adaptation, using fresher ingredients or simplified techniques, offer avenues for reintroducing Charlotte Russe to those seeking a blend of culinary tradition and contemporary taste. The Tom and Jerry, transitioning from cocktail to dessert, offered a warm embrace with its spiced and frothy character, becoming a cherished part of holiday tradition. It has seen a decline as preferences shift towards simpler, less labor-intensive drinks. The ritual of beating egg whites to a froth and carefully combining them with the rest of the ingredients requires more effort than many are willing to invest in a drink. Additionally, the rising popularity of craft cocktails and the preference for lighter, less rich alcoholic beverages have overshadowed this traditional winter warmer. However, the nostalgic charm of the Tom and Jerry, coupled with opportunities for innovation in non-alcoholic versions or through the incorporation of modern flavors, holds promise for its revival during the holiday season among those looking to rediscover classic comforts with a contemporary twist. Wishing you could taste those bygone treats again? If so, like this video, click subscribe, and stay tuned for more nostalgia trips.